David is putting the musicians into their places. I can't say I understand what their lots were determining, and I haven't researched it. But they are again putting it to the Lord what each man's assignment will be, instead of relying on man's understanding. It points out this time that the teacher and student are treated the same. The teacher is not placed over the student. The Lord will decide each man's lot. Psalm 16 speaks of our good inheritance and how the lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. The lot was drawn for us and we were placed where God would have us work in the work he chose and prepared for us to do. Be thankful for your lot. God, (laughs) no God, made the most excellent choice for you. These men, especially this one family, is exalted by the Lord, we're told. He's given 14 sons to carry on the work of praising God. We're told that they prophesied with praise and thanksgiving with instruments, including the cymbal. I believe we can think of this prophesying with music like the Psalms. We believe they are God's words. They're also songs written and sung by men. When they wrote those songs, they were singing God's own words. The Psalms contain praise and thanksgiving and also personal appeals and remembrance. God's Spirit moved through them when they were singing. I don't know how aware they were of that. It was the same with David as he wrote about half of the Psalms that were preserved for us. King Saul recognized it and was soothed by David's playing. The Spirit of God was in it, even without words. God is in our work for him. He's in our gifts. He uses them for his glory. Eric Little is the Olympian who famously won the gold medal for a race he didn't train for. He would say that he felt God's pleasure when he ran. That he would run as fast as he could, and then, when he couldn't go any faster, he would give his race to the Lord to run the rest of it. God's Spirit ran with him, even for him in some ways. May you let the Lord choose your lot. Give your all to the work he has before you and let his spirit enable you to do his work to his glory, to his praise, and in ways you couldn't possibly on your own.